Hello, good evening, and welcome to the sport here on Pulse with me, Obreku Ampofo. Now, since yesterday evening, uh, the Ghana football community has been shaken uh, by the big news that the Ghana Football Association released, and that was uh, the dissolving of all the technical teams of the national teams. That did include a hefty amount of names, ranging from the Starless to the Princesses to the Maidens to the Matthias. Throughout all the Ghanaian national teams, there's literally no one in charge as things do stand from a technical point of view but the one man who caught a lot of attention and uh, has been the focus is coach Chris Yapia and he was the head coach of the Black Stars for him it was the second time that he's parting ways with the Black Stars considering that he has already had a first stint with the team and joining me in the studio were uh, Miss Susan Owusu and Satu be doing the discussion. Susan, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so let's start. Let's start with Chris Yapia. He's our main focus here, and uh, this is not the what first time that he's losing his job as Black Stars coach. Uh, in his first stint in 2012 to 2014, uh, he did have uh, 24 games where he actually won 14 of them. If you bring it and compare that to his second stint from 2017 to 2019, out of the 25 games that he managed, he just won 11. So technically, things did get worse in terms of that win rate. Uh, is, that, is that a true reflection, or you think that Chris Pia performed better in his second coming as a Black Stars coach? I don't think he performed better from my perspective because we were looking at, we were more hopeful of coming home with African Cup of Nations. That was our ultimate target. Yeah. So no matter how many matches you win, our target was to bring home and it's going even better to the second place or even third place. But where he got eliminated, concludes everything, mm -hmm. that he was poor. So he was poor. He, so he certainly thinks he was poor there. But you look at uh, you know, the Africa Cup of Nations and uh, the highest there being a semi-final. And uh, certainly, of course, for a country like Ghana, yeah. uh, that doesn't speak so well. Uh, so in your opinion, you think you're part of the group that believes that it was, it was perhaps a good decision to sack with Yapia. Now, I say this because there's also another school of thought suggesting that he has brought in a lot of talent in terms of young players and you know, giving the opportunity to younger players. Uh, but do you think from that perspective, perhaps he needed a little bit more time to work with the young generation of players that he has brought across? If you look at the team that he selected for South Africa and Sao Tome. We applaud him for bringing a lot of you know, young, young talent to the team. But yeah. from his sense to when he was sacked after the AFCON with South Africa and Sao Tome, how many new players did he bring on board? Yeah. How many did he use? He brought a lot of players, but we saw just a few of them. Yeah. It was good of him. We had a lot of young players. We know that, yes, when we are, Ghana is never in need of, we, are, we never lack players. So I think, yeah, he, it right, he said, we need another coach who can build young team and give them the technical direction we need. He built a team without, I don't think they had that technical direction needed to win something good. So, yeah, I think he just did. Of course, the big, the big question now is uh, who's going to take charge of the Black Stars? We've had various reports that Coach Chris Yapia himself may reapply for the job, and that's because the job is open. Absolutely anyone could apply for it. Now, we don't know as to whether these reports may be true or not, but he's still eligible to apply. So technically speaking, he's part of the candidates. But I want to hear from you uh, which candidates or which coaches out there that you think that would be the most likely or would suit the Black Stars at the moment because anyone coming in is going to be judged by the same bar. You need to bring the African Cup of Nations trophy home. And who do you think you see achieving this target? Looking at the local front, I don't see any of our local coaches being able to bring home that we have Sikia Akuno Didi Dramani yeah. and then we Ibrahim Tanko yeah. and even Max Oknedu who did well with. Um, the local stars yeah. in the Wafu yeah. tournament. Yeah. But I think Kwesi Apia, you know, was on the bench of all the foreign coaches yeah. from our first World Cup. He was there and still did not get out what we needed. Yeah. So I think the GFA may look beyond the local coaches and go outside, get someone who has the ability, <coughs> you know, a trophy winning mind. Yeah. Someone who can win us trophies, who can bring back the love they are looking for. Because if we support, 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 and we are not getting the trophy, we are not getting the needed wins, then there's no need in supporting. So I don't really see uh, any of our local coaches. Yes, we have good local coaches. They are good for our local teams. They are doing marvelous. But I think it would be much better. I don't see anyone qualified to take our... Because look at what Tanko did with the Meteors recently. Yeah. We expected so yeah. much from him. Yeah. The penalty shootout shouldn't have been something Ghana should come home yeah. because of penalty shootout. So I don't see him being able to handle the Black Stars. 
if he was unable to handle the meteors, yeah. how, how much is <coughs> going to the, the, the likes of the Dayu, yeah. Pate, you know, the big, big stars could just some more. You could not manage these young ones, these upcoming ones. Yeah. So I don't see any of our local coaches fitting for this Black Stars show. So from what you are saying, you are skewing towards the international angle. And if you look at history, just you don't even have to look so far. Uh, Ghana has been dominated by Serbian coaches. And uh, do you think perhaps that should be the direction again? Because to be fair, the Serbian coaches did give a lot of people out there the most joy during the Black Stars, you know, our World Cup experience, uh, becoming the, uh, you know, third African team to yeah. reach a quarterfinals, almost reaching the semifinals. And most importantly, Ghana was playing some good football out there. Do you perhaps think that Serbia could be the way again? Um, Serbia again, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't also be surprised if we go in for Serbia because uh, Milo is still, Milo is vacant now at 66 years. Yeah. You know, he took us to our first World Cup and then to the quarterfinals. So I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, we should go beyond Serbia. I mean, we should go beyond Serbia. That you can, we should try other countries mm -hmm. that are also doing well in football. You know, and not stick to Serbia and stick to their style of play always. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Serbia should be a hallmark. Like, okay, when it's Ghana Black Stars, it's Serbia. No. Of course, uh, Ghana, Ghana football is at a you know very very tricky situation. It's very pivotal in terms of you know a new administration coming in on all that. And uh, there is also always a case of you know supporting your own and giving yours yeah. the opportunity I, it, there is that feeling out there that a local coach again may be given the chance you know considering the fact that how how difficult it is to get an international coach here you know the amount that it does involve once again there has been various reports that ck akono could be the coach to lead ghana maybe on an interim basis or as the main coach how do you see CK, you know, through his times at heart, coming in through Kotoko, and then also, you know, joining the senior national team quite recently and assisting, uh, you know, Kwesi Apia himself. Do you think CK is ready for the job? If I would have to take um, tip a local coach, I'll go for CK. Because from Ashgold, he did well with Ashgold to Heart yeah. of Oak, then to Kotoko. Yeah. And we saw that improvement in him. And then getting him on the national team, the Black Stars assistant yeah. coach. And Kwesi Apia himself said it. That, you know, a game against, when Kudos Muhammad scored, yeah. he said it was Siki Akuno who gave him, who told him to bring on Kudos mm -hmm. to do some tactical changes. Yeah. It means uh, Siki Akuno has some tactical knowledge more yeah. than Kwesi Apia, yeah. pardon me. But I think, yeah, he's cool. We should, <laughs> if we want a local coach, and if it's a must, we need a local coach. Then Siki Akuno should be given that mandate. Supposing CK, CK takes the job, uh, what would be a fair expectation for him? Our expectation is to bring <laughs> us the Afghan. <laughs> <laughs> we need the African Cup of Nations. Certainly, we do need the African Cup of Nations. But thank you very much, uh, Susan, for joining me here and you know doing the analysis as to what uh, you know, second question up here, or parting ways with him means, and who perhaps the Ghana Football Association should be looking forward to. There'll be more discussion on uh, who the future coach of the Black Star should be in our subsequent bulletins. Uh, but that wraps it up for the sports here on Pulse with me, Ray Kwan Pofo. <laughs>